Welcome back. It seems Sadna has been enticed by the beauty and serenity of the coast. We head back down KwaZulu Natal's south coast to Amkumas this time to meet Devan Naya, a teacher of Tamil who has evoked a love for this ancient language in a number of youth. My earliest recollection is, is coming uh, with the family and uh, learning the Thevarams, learning the other songs uh, and of course not knowing a word then but just love the feel of being here and of course the spiritual atmosphere that, uh, that pervaded whenever we had a major festival. My love for the language and religion in, in general uh, stems from both my parents. Um, my parents were my first gurus when it came to language and when it came to religion my father was my first spiritual guru and with the seed having been planted by both of them, it had to grow. My first posting as an educator was in Gauteng, where they were starved of everything, the language, the religion, and everything else. So, uh, I was very happy for the very tiny role I played in bringing up uh, the Tamil language there, starting two Tamil schools, one for adults, one for children, uh, getting them involved in the Tamil estate. And uh, so when I came back to Ankumas, I continued the teaching of Tamil here. From 1860, when the indentured uh, settlers first arrived here, um, there wasn't much contact with India. And of course, that was exacerbated by the cultural boycott that came about during the apartheid years. So India severed all ties. It was the first country, by the way, to sever all ties with South Africa. So we had no access to the language in, in, in terms of music, in terms of literature, in terms of anything else. So the natural mutation process that normally undergoes a language was going through here yeah, without any outside input. And as a result, the language became further and further from the original. Um, and and uh, the names themselves, a lot of the names have, have become so corrupted that it's barely recognizable as Tamil names. I know a common one that, uh, that troubles me a lot. There's a beautiful name called Thyagarajan, coming from the word Thyagam. But that has now been corrupted too. Thagarajan, and your common surname, Gavinder, no such thing anywhere, mm -hmm. it's a Gaunder. So a lot of these changes came about as a result of transliteration of the name, as well as the way it was recorded by the then Home Affairs. something that's going to demonstrate uh, the loss in meaning. Um, <clears throat> the Rassum's recipe was taken to England by the British and they have now marketed it as, as, an, as an English dish. They call it a maligatoni, which came from Tamil words, mulagai thanir. Mulagai is chili and thanir is water. So mulagai thanir became corrupted to maligatoni. So that, that, that's not an uh, English drink, that, that came from India. Our, our numeric system, the way we write our numbers, also came from, from the Tamil language. The way the Tamil uh, Tamilians wrote uh, numbers one to, one to zero, or one to nine. The, the current numeric system came from there. Initially at school we learned it as Arabic numerals, then we learned it as Indian numerals, and then subsequently found out that there were Tamil numerals. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, yes, the, the, the rich history is there. There are lots of English words, common English words, that have the root in Tamil. Uh, certainly the word cash, for money, comes from the Tamil word kasa. So, 
British, despite the colonial efforts and everything else that went with it, did us a favor in taking a lot of these words out of India. Bye.